now we look at example two solve each of the following trigonometric equation for 0 to 360 degree so let's say we look at a sin x is equal to positive 1 over 2 as you all know for sine to become positive it can be in quadrant 1 or quadrant number 2 means that for this question we have two answer so x will be equal to sine inverse 1 over 2 so before this we have to remember start from 0 degree 90 120 270 and 360 so this is quadrant 1 quadrant 2 quadrant 3 and quadrant number 4 so for sine x to become positive it can be quadrant 1 or quadrant 2 so by using our calculator shift sine inverse so we have to do is make sure that our calculator is in degree so shift sine in the bracket 1 over 2 so here we should have 30 degree this is the answer for quadrant number 1 if you want to find the answer in quadrant number 2 what we will do is we will use 180 minus 30 degree so we have two answer which is 30 and 150 degree now we look at question b cos x is equal to negative 2 over 3 again for cos to become negative it can be in quadrant 2 or quadrant 3 so x is equal to cos inverse in the bracket so here you have to remember without putting the negative it is 2 over 3 so don't put negative here just put 2 over 3 so by using your calculator shift cos in the bracket 2 over 3 so your answer in your calculator suppose is 40 so the answer in your in our calculator suppose is 48.19 degree but this is the answer for quadrant number 1 we need quadrant 2 and quadrant 3 so what we do is for quadrant number 2 against here quadrant number 2 we are using 180 degree minus 48.19 whereas the answer for quadrant number 3 so here is quadrant number 3 we still using 180 we are referring the x exists value on x exists so 180 plus 48.19 so x will be equals to 180 minus 48.19 so this is 131.81 degree and the second answer will be 180 plus 48.19 so here is 228.19 degree. So this will be the answer for A and B. So we have to be careful if positive, if negative, cos negative, it can be in quadrant 2 and quadrant 3. So this is quadrant number 1. So here is the answer for quadrant number 1. But we need the answer for quadrant 2 and 3. Therefore, I'm using 180 minus 48.19 for quadrant 2 and 180 degree plus 48.19 for quadrant number 3. So this is the answer for example 